coming up in Ms. Tastic. anywhere, anytime, hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home. Perfect for families and classrooms. Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to learn all about dogs and we're going to create drawings and art for dogs. Dogs are the descendant of wolves, so they're a domesticated descendant of the wolf. Their sense of smell is 40 times better than our own. And did you know that dogs can sniff and smell at the same time? It's so true. So they can breathe, but they can also sniff all at the same time. And that's a pretty cool fact. Dogs can also learn over 100 words and gestures. So if you wanna have a great friendship with a dog, it's important to teach them lots of different words and gestures so that you can have a good communication with your with a dog and they can be a good friend. They'll also learn a lot of new tricks that way and they're going you're going to have a really great friendship where they understand what you're saying. So you can talk with them a lot more and they'll understand. So it's really important to have a conversation with your dogs or any pet of yours because all animals can really learn a lot of words and gestures and tricks that way. So the more you teach them, the more they'll know. Let's see if you can guess the different breeds of dogs. This is the first one. What do you think it is? It's a German Shepherd. Here's the next one. Hmm, can you guess this breed? It's a bulldog. All right, here's one. It might be a little easier. You probably have seen this dog. A Labrador Retriever. All right, how about this dog? A Poodle. Good job. Okay, two more. Can you guess this dog? It's a Beagle. The last one. Yep, it's a Chihuahua. Good job. All right, let's head on over to the art studio where we're going to draw a cute Chihuahua and then we're going to make art of a poodle. See you there. All right, let's draw our Chihuahua. So excited. Okay, here we go. Big curving line. The Chihuahuas have kind of big ears. We're gonna add two big curving lines up. With a curving line down. This one's gonna be smaller than this one because it's kind of on an angle. Two curves. And a nice big U. Alright, Chihuahuas have super small bodies, so we're gonna do a small curving line and a little tail. I'm making it super exaggerated. Super big bed, head, super big head, super tiny body. We're gonna add little paws. So silly. Okay. Add some zigzags in your ears for the ear fluffs. We'll add a lowercase bubble letter, or not lowercase, but a bubble letter uppercase for the nose. We're going to color it in black, leaving in the dark of the T and then leaving that white at the top for a highlight. On either side, we're going to add a big circle for an eyes. Oh, Chihuahuas have very big eyes, so keep 
keep that in mind. Big circle and small circle in each eye. And then color in the dark of the eyes, leaving those circles white. Two lines across, and we can do a little tongue sticking out. Add a little cheek underneath of the eyes, a little oval. And add some zigzag lines for fur texture. Little toes. And then you're ready to color. any color you want. Let's see what color I want. Mm. Sorry, I'm this one. Pick your chihuahua color. I'm going to add some yellow for some variety. Coloring the cheeks with my pink and the tongue. And then I'm going to grab a gray just to add a bit of shading around the eyes into the ears, under the nose, under the mouth, and where the head overlaps the body and around the body here. And just like that, Chihuahua is done. Let's make our rainbow poodle. Let's grab something to draw with, either black wax crayon, black colored pencil, or black permanent marker. I'm gonna start off with a nice big curvy poodle at the top. Okay, next we're gonna add a big U-shaped blue and some curving lines for poodle ears on, on either side. We'll have the neck with two straight lines down and then we'll do poodle's body with some curving lines below. Now, although we can't see the body, we're gonna have the tail peeking up, so we're gonna have a straight, two straight lines up with some curves. All right, next we're gonna add the nose at the bottom of the snout, or the bottom of the head, and I like to color it in, leaving just a little bit of weight at the top for a highlight. And we're also gonna add two happy eyes with some upside down U's on either side, just like this. We're gonna add some texture. With some curving lines all around the fluffy parts of Poodle. The Poodles are fluffy. And now we're ready to paint in the background. You can paint your background in whatever colors you have. We're just gonna do some vertical stripes. So I'm gonna do a pink stripe and skip over poodle because poodle, my poodle's white. And I like to use water to make the paint 
seats slide easier without it looking dry, that just helps it move. And then I'm just using temper paint. could use some color. So let's grab a bit of brown and we're going to paint the skin between the fluffy, fe fluffy feathers, but the fluffy fur. Brown there. And then I'm going to mix a little bit of brown and a lot of white to make a face color. So just a lot of white and a little bit of brown. That makes a brown tint. And I'm going to use it to paint the face. And I'm also going to use this color to shade Poodle, Poodle's fur. So I'll go around, I'll shade the bottom of the ears with a stroke. See, just one stroke. One stroke on the top of the fluffy head. And around the bottom of the tail. And just like that, our Poodle is done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have these artworks and you had tons of fun please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel if you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone whatever device make sure you so share them to social media and take me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works as well if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.